welcome back to Eastside Mr. Dreams. I'm Chris, and today I'm going to be doing a vlog for the Save Graces by Hannah Abigail Clark. The Save Graces is a lesbian witchy book by a non-binary lesbian author who uses they, them, and she, him pronouns. It follows Sideways Pike, who is a lesbian outcast at her high school as she befriends and later starts a coming with the most popular girls at her school. I received a finished copy from the publisher. I also received an e-arc from the publisher. I want to cover all of my bases, so I did in fact receive both. I will have a link to either pre-order or order this book in the description down below, depending on when I give the video out. Those links are going to be affiliate links, so if you use them to purchase anything, I will get a small commission. I'm going to get right into it, and I will let you guys know how I feel about it in a bit. It is 1.40 p.m. the next day. So last night I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to. I read one chapter. And I still need to go back and finish annotating the chapter that I did read. I also did live reading sprints for that one chapter. So if you guys are there, hey, hi, nice to see you again. I am really, really enjoying it so far. It's a good book. I... I like the ways that the author is deconstructing the mean girl trope, the way that they are deconstructing just the general tropes and stereotypes that surround teenage girls especially. I also enjoy the ways that lesbianism is portrayed. It obviously hasn't been too much of a focus at the moment. So I am only one chapter in, but there has been enough that you can really tell that Sideways is a lesbian. It comes through in every interaction he has, and it feels incredibly authentic to me, and I'm so, so very happy about that. It's so good. Um, I was up late. I was up late last night. There was PowerPoint night in the Lost Tomb server, so I was up late with that. I well, the PowerPoints were fun. I had fun. I had a good time last night. So I was up late with that. Uh, I ended up talking to them until about two in the morning, two thirty when I went to bed, and. Yeah, so I ended up doing that until about 2.30, and then, and then I went to bed. I woke up at around 10.30, and the point up until now has just been me becoming a human. I ate a late breakfast slash early lunch. I had, a co I had some coffee. I got more coffee, and now I'm going to make my bed. So, you guys are probably going to feel that I need to switch out my sheets and I need to switch out my comforter. Please, please have fun. Have fun with that. I'm hopefully going to get half the book done today. That is at least my plan. But I cannot make any promises about whether or not that will actually happen. So I noticed that you could see this, um... That entire time I was filming that, uh, so I just wanted to say, you need a baby toy on my August, not my, it's a baby toy on my September TBR, um, that's just the way it goes, it's, I have an infant sister, I don't know if that's been mentioned 
on the channel. I don't think it has been, actually, but I have an infant sister, and sometimes her toys end up here. Also, these are my annotating supplies, and I'm going to have so much fun. You know, let's go through my annotating supplies while we're here. So, I don't have an annotating system. These are my tabs. Ignore this. So fine. I also have four full sets. Uh, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I'm missing stuff. Okay, so I went and grabbed everything. What we have here are the pens I actually used to write. So, they're pink and purple. And then, this is a gray pen. I literally never use it. And I just... Keep it with my annotating stuff, because it either, it's either that or it has to stay with my school stuff. This is, these are my highlighters. I don't have an orange highlighter that matches the rest of these, so we just suffer and deal with it. I do not have a set annotating system, if I'm being honest. Um, to be fair, I don't even use the tabs. They don't have a system either. I just... For this, I'm actually probably going to use pink and blue because of the cover, but I just put tabs wherever. I just... It's easiest for me. Oh, and that is my coffee. I need to go get more. So it's been a hot minute since I updated you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I did not read at all on Sunday or Monday. I, yeah, no, I just didn't read. Uh, well, I mean, I've read other stuff. I, I didn't read the Scape Racers whatsoever. <laughs> children riding their bikes or whatever and they hear me talking so they keep getting closer and I'm like children stay away stay away I'm vlogging so I have a shirt on under this I realize you couldn't tell that um I'm 100 pages into the escape racers right now. That is about one fourth of the way into it. I have two chapters I need to go back and annotate, which I'm gonna try and do this evening. I'm out right now. I picked up some library books. Wow, look at them. So I picked up some library books and I'm listening to an audiobook while I do that, but I, obviously I don't have the Skate Cruisers audiobook. I don't even know if it's getting one. But I'm going to try and annotate those chapters and read some more. Current plan is for this to be my Thursday video, but it's not I'm on my Thursday video. Current plan is for this to be my Friday video, but we'll see what happens. I'm still really enjoying the book, I think. It is an incredibly fun read, and it's, just, it's very, very important to me, and it's going to be very important to a lot of people, and I am very much looking forward to more people getting their hands on this book when it comes out.
long time no update. Very, very sorry about that. Um, I think it's been a week since I updated you guys. I still haven't finished the book, and it's release day, so we're trying to get that done. I have 160 pages left, and it's one, not one, yeah, it's almost one in the morning, and I have class at 9.30, so I should sleep. I should probably sleep. Am I going to sleep? Probably not. I almost fell. That's fun. I still haven't finished the book. I have about 50 pages left. I last night ended up not reading. I ended up not reading as much as I said I would last night because I just was not feeling it. So I just put it off and decided I would be reading it today, finishing it. And, yeah, so I'm probably going to end up doing that this evening because I currently have an hour-long break in between my labs today, and, well, not even an hour-long break, one of my labs is out an hour early, and I am using that to very quickly make it to my library so I can pick some books up. So I finished editing most of the vlog and one, I still need to film the outro, so that's this. But I also lost some footage due to some poor audio quality issues that I am unable to fix in post-production. So I'm just gonna you here, gonna sum up what I think about the book and had some commentary that we missed because of my audio mess ups. So something I really enjoyed about the book was its humor. The humor was aided by the conversational writing style and so a lot of the jokes, a lot of the humor, they stem from sideways and they serve as kind of more characterization of her and that worked for me. I'm not usually one for conversational writing styles but in this case it did work for me rather well especially since I did find the humor funny. A lot of the humor was meme based and I know not everyone is going to like that but I did enjoy it quite a bit. It was nice, it was good and I think it made the book feel more like it was about teens to me than it would have otherwise. And okay, I generally just like it when books include meme references. I know it dates them. I know these might be incomprehensible in a year or even a few months, and they would certainly be incomprehensible in like a decade, but I just think it's funny and I enjoy it quite a bit. Next up is how this book focused on the teenage experience. 
It included a lot of very authentic things that teen girls and teen lesbians or otherwise non-binary sapphics would experience, what they would think, and it was refreshing. Beyond like that authenticity, another thing I liked about the representation of teens and teen girls in particular was the fact that they did not tear each other down. This is very much about girls loving each other, be it romantically or platonically, and it's just about them loving each other and helping each other and lifting each other up, and that is just something I found incredibly refreshing, and I'm glad to see it. It reminded me of when we were romantic in a way, so might do a if you like this, if you like that, for recommending those two, but... It did remind me of when we were magic in that way. Iconic, amazing, the some of the best I have ever seen in a YA book or a book in general. It felt like something that represented me. It felt great. It felt iconic. I highly recommend this book if you're looking for good lesbian rap. There was also like parallels drawn between magic use and not being straight and i that was incredibly refreshing it really added a lot to the story so all in all i did really enjoy this book i gave it five out of